Hey, good morning, sir. Hey, good evening, sir. How are you? It's the habit of a teacher always saying good morning. <laughs> There's Angela. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Very, very well, thank you. Okay, thank you. I never remember the song. Good morning, teacher. <laughs> How but, are you? But you know Very what? Fun, thank you. <laughs> yeah, but you know, some people say it wrongly because some people say, uh, where are you? Very, very thank you. But have you noticed that a lot of people say very, very thank you? <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> And it's actually very, very well, thank you. Or very, 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 very well, thank you. Very, very well. Do you know what is the difference between good and well? Um, good is the... I don't know, say uh, how explication. Explication. Explain. <laughs> um, explanation. Tell you. Come on, explanation. Remember, yes. remember, think easy, think simple. What is the difference between good and well? The two, are, the two is the same thing. It's good, but there is a difference. Do you know it? Um. So in Spanish, it's weird because we use the, ¿Cómo está? Bien, gracias. But bien. Bien, grande, bien, enorme. I mean, this is curious because I wonder why you use bien as an adverb. You say bien, 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 bien. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, bien, mal, bien, bien. Yeah, <laughs> I think true. it's the same in English. I mean, in English, it's different because but you, you see, know, well but... done, well explained, and good. It's just for saying I'm good. No, but there is a difference though between good and well. The difference is that good is an adjective. Good describes a noun. It describes a person, a place, or a thing. Well describes a verb. So, for example, my mother cooks good or my mother cooks well? My mother cooks good? No, my mother oh. cooks well. <laughs> because well. I am describe. I'm not describing my mother. I'm describing cook. Uh, cook, okay. I'm describing the verb. Now, I can say my mother is a good cook. Mm -hmm. I'm describing my mother as a chef. Good. That's the difference. Mm -hmm. That good and well, good and well is that good, it's, a, it's an adjective. Well describes the verb. Mm -hmm. But you will you will hear people say, Messi plays good. Messi plays good. Um, yes, you understand, but it's not correct. Messi plays well. Messi plays well because we're oh. describing the verb. Okay. Let me fix my camera. I see myself very yellow. Very Red. Hepatitis. <laughs> <laughs> I see very red, teacher. <laughs> you see me red? Yes, me. <laughs> and I'm using the, the laptop's camera and it's not very good. Oh my god, I am yellow because I'm 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 I think I am yellow then. Let me see. Angela is white. 
Mm. But you know what? I am actually really yellow. Watch, look. I am very, I am very, I am very white. <laughs> I mean, I'm black here because it's the sun, but I don't like, I don't like to take off my shirt because I am very. The thing you can tan your skin, right? No, you can't. I can't. But for for example, Angela, you can you tan your skin when you expose to the sun? Excuse me, I don't know, understand it, Albert. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, when I expose my skin to the sun, I get tan. I mean dark but because okay be, you know what happens so, but i think your skin tone is different because it's white when you expose your skin to the sun it gets red yeah exactly am i right or am i wrong exactly when you when you're in the sun your sun gets i mean your skin gets red but if you mix red with your skin it mixes to dark if you mix red with my skin, it's red. And there's no cure. I put everything. I tried putting beer, <laughs> a coconut, everything. I tried everything, but it's impossible. Only if I live in the beach. Only if I go five times a, a, a week. But you know what I what I don't like is that I'm very sensitive to the sun. You have to protect because it's not good yeah. to be exposed to the sun directly. It's true. It's true. All right, welcome everybody. So remember, yesterday we were talking about habits. habits. Yeah, by habits. Um, uh, Susan is missing because Susan. I remember all about her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was thinking about Susan today, you know, in the morning. You too, when I see my my, <laughs> my desk, desk all a mess. <laughs> I, yeah, I was thinking Susan was right. If your desk is clean, one less thing to worry about. You're more efficient. So, um, okay, but she's not. But I I do remember we spoke about. We spoke about a bad habit that Bert told us a bad habit he has. Jonathan, do you remember Bert's bad habit? No, I didn't. You don't remember his bad habit? No, sorry. Okay, no problem. Um, Angela, do you remember Jesus Alberto's bad habit? Um, I I remember he is pronunciation the the your work maybe I don't it's understand. I'm sorry. Work. No, he mentioned he has a bad habit. Uh, if you remember no. Susan's habit, you will remember his explanation. And uh, Susan, yes, uh, Albert, no. Okay, what is Susan's good habit? Do you remember? Uh, Susan no. is very, very um, organized. Okay. Uh, in your house in her, with... In her, in her life? Uh, yes, in her life with... Okay, Family. okay, Bert's bad habit is the contrary of Susan. Yes, <laughs> I do not remember. I am the giving you the habit. answer right now. <laughs> I remember he said, my bad habit, I am the contrary of Susan. So he is not organized. Okay, I don't, I don't know, remember too. the, the <laughs> okay. Do you remember Gerardo? I do remember. Yeah. 
Do you remember Jonathan's good habit? Teacher, I don't know, but I don't know if my device is not working well, but I, I, sometimes I don't hear you at all when you're speaking. Maybe it's my internet connection. Okay, let me check. Can everybody right hear now, me? I can hear you. Can everybody yes, hear I can, me? I can hear you, teacher, very well. Jonathan? Yes, uh, maybe it's your okay, internet it's my connection. Problem. That's right. Okay. Because everybody can hear me well. Yeah, yes. right. <laughs> yes. Okay. So, Gerardo, do you remember Jonathan's good habit? Um, if I'm not wrong, he said um, play video games. Yeah, he plays video games. Okay. Good. Gerardo, uh, oh yeah, Gerardo, he has a bad habit too. Do you remember Gerardo's bad habit, Bert? Yes, I remember his bad habit. It's kind of the same that I have because I didn't mention that because I was enough. <laughs> but I also I also procrastinate. All right. That's yeah. his bad habit. Because he's supposed to do something today, but he wanna wanna finish tomorrow. And that was he was explaining about his bad habit. How many alarms do you have, Gerardo? I have two alarms. The first one is like oh, one more hour. No, no, I have two because in from Monday to Friday, I have one, and from and then I have one for Saturday. But I am the the cell phone have an option when the alarm sounds to to like keep pro prorroga. I don't know how to say in English. Snooze. Ah, snooze. That that option. So I snooze like five, six times. <laughs> you know what? I always put the alarm on, but I always wake up before the alarm. Always. So sometimes I wake up to watch the alarm. Uh -huh. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, oh my God. Let <laughs> me wake up. But you know what I love? I really love when you wake up like, oh, and you go to the bathroom. And oh my God, I'll throw the year. And you look and it's two in the morning. And you yes, say, I hey, love that too. Yes. <laughs> Still yes. three hours to sleep. Yeah, three, four more hours to sleep. I like that. That's one of my favorite parts. You know, like, oh my God, another day. And then you look, wow, two in the morning. It's like, yes. Oh, the day, the day it was raining Sunday. I remember Sunday was raining very hard and we went to sleep very early, maybe at nine. And uh, I went to sleep and I woke up scared, like, oh my God. And I check and it's 10 30. I was I was happy. <laughs> okay, now let's continue with bad habits. Angela, tell the class a bad habit habit that you have but um maybe um <laughs> i um very very um moria apurada um hurry up <laughs> maybe um no sé cómo explicarle bien rápido las cosas que me gustan así como bien rápido okay but try to do it in english yeah i i like no sé cómo explicarle pero es que me gustan como 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 al hacer rápido las cosas o que las hacen. Yo sé, Angela, yo sé, pero Ajá. el objetivo aquí es tratar de expresar eso. Yeah, de expresarlo, ya. Yes. Ok. <laughs> en, so, en... se llama rush. 
rush. So one bad habit I have is I am always rushing. Always rushing and... Rushing and... is in Salvador. Apolotado. Uh -huh. Yes. yes. Um... <laughs> When I uh, get the work, for example, <laughs> uh, I like, uh, um, no sé, anticiparme. But, um... Wait, wait, that's not rushing. Anticiparse is not rushing. Uh, rush, uh, when I my Okay, Angela. Angela, wait, wait, wait. Okay, Angela, just think of another bad habit, but a simple <laughs> bad habit. Don't complicate yourself. Just think. One bad habit I have. Okay. Example, I don't brush my teeth. Example, right? Um, I don't wash my hands or... Think, tell me a bad habit that you have. I always forget my keys. I always forget my password. I always forget my uh, glasses. Your glasses? <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> maybe. Okay, good. Yeah, that's a bad habit. <laughs> yes. Hey, Jonathan, you had a question? I saw Jonathan had a question. Okay, I guess not. Okay, so now we're going to talk about a strange habit that you have. A strange habit. Example, imagine I am Mexican. Imagine I am Mexican. I say, man, Salvadorian people, they have a strange habit. What? They point with their mouth. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Jonathan, you're back. Jonathan, did you have a question? Yes, teacher. Uh, sorry. The, it's okay. Uh, I have uh, a call. Okay, no problem. Uh, my question is... How are you right? I have it. Have it. Huh? House. Alpha. Boy. India. Tango. <laughs> have it. Mm. E eso les recomiendo, miren, y aquí no me va a dejar mentir Alberto de que aprendan a El abecedario fonético. Ahí. Porque. Uh -huh. oh, o sea, te lo, te lo describí fonético. Uh -huh. I said, home, apple, boy, India, tango. I got it. And this is very common in the United States. Sometimes somebody calls you. Yes, can I have your name? Sometimes people don't say Smith. Sometimes people say Sam, Mother, Thomas, Henry. <laughs> you know, they just start phonetically speaking. Exactly, habit. Okay, now, class, we're going to talk about a strange habit. Well, oh, yeah, like I told you. Mexicans say that we have a strange habit because we point with our lips. Where is the store? And it's true, only we do that. In El Salvador, we say really? that. Really? Yeah. Only we do that. Salvadorians, we are the only ones that do this. And the ch -ch 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 -ch. Um, 
People from San Salvador say that people from San Miguel have a strange habit because they eat curtido with pupusas. I'm sorry, with mayonnaise. Yeah, that's right. That's what I want to mention. I was about to mention. Oh, and that's I'm right. Sorry. Yeah, but it is good. Now remember, strange is not necessarily bad. Strange is different. Yes. It's like Sunday, Sunday that I was coming from the beach. We had dinner in Oloquilta. And I saw something very strange. In front of me, there was a couple, a man and a woman. The woman was eating pupusas. Well, the man was eating pupusas with a beer. And I don't know, for me, pupusas and beer, no. And the woman was eating pupusas with a milkshake. Un batido de leche. I, was, uh, I don't know. For me, that was strange. Because for me, pupusas are with coffee, hot chocolate, or soda. Well, anything but not, not milk. <laughs> Okay, so everybody tell me a strange habit that you have. Let's start with Bert. Well, I'm thinking of a different that a strange habit we have in San Miguel. My thing is that not necessarily from San Miguel. Ah, you know, this from is you. Really, yeah, this is. I mean, when I was in San Salvador, they used to bully me because I used to always. Try to avoid it. This is a strange habit. When we're talking like, uh, I was talking with my friend. He's uh, almost like my brother because I was in that confidence with him. So Your brother I say, from another Por favor, mother. Llame la caja. So did you hear the bad ha the strange habit? Por favor, in Spanish, I mean, I say, uh, "Por favor, llame para la caja." And oh, say, yes. Uh, I was asking to pass me a file and say, Pajamelo. Did you hear oh, that? Oh, that you used the S as a J, right? No. Uh, we, we replaced the S with the J. Right? Yes. That's true. That's true. I hear that in, um, I heard a lot of that in, in San Miguel. Yeah, this is weird. I mean, most of the people in San, when I was living in San Salvador didn't notice that from me. Because I was in a, uh, maybe I was conscious when I was speaking. Oh, okay. But when you, you were making an effort. We are so close. Yeah. And naturally, I was speaking like that. Do you know why? Do you know why people in San Miguel use the J instead of a S? Mm, I don't know. Maybe uh, the main reason is this is a theory. It's not. Okay. Uh -huh. Because we are related to the people from Honduras, you know, mm -hmm. we were different uh, tribe, the Lencas, okay. remember? Yeah. So this is a, a linguistic thing, I think, but yeah. just a theory. It's a theory. Because, because... But in Mexico, if you listen to Mr. Anlo, he does the same. Yeah, so some Mexicans speak like that. You know, I remember, I don't know if this still happens, but one thing I remember about San Miguel is that at, at six in the morning, you go to a restaurant, a diner. Do you know what a diner is? No, dinner. Dinner is two ends. Diner, one end. Do you know what a diner is? Comedores, you mean? Comedores. I remember that when you go to a diner in San Miguel at six in the morning, you, you maybe you're thinking, oh, huevitos, you know, beans, pancakes, whatever. You go and they already have chorizos, pollo asado, sopas, and everything. Still, and you know, like when when you go, wow, carne asada at six in the morning. Yeah, <laughs> give me please. And you know, one time, but not not only one comedor. I went to many, and, and one time I asked the person, why is in San Miguel <clears throat> people eat a heavy breakfast? And there's a theory. <clears throat> One person told me that before in the Campo days, in the Dia del Campo, mm -hmm. 
the men they used to go work 15 hours i don't know 10 15 hours and they didn't have time to eat so they ate a very very strong breakfast because they were not going to eat lunch until they come back to eat dinner <clears throat> So that's where the tradition stayed, <laughs> that um, la gente del campo, under this campo, before they went to the fields, they had a very, very strong breakfast, like chicken and meat. Yeah, by the way, talking about the breakfast, the difference between San Salvador tortillas, they oh, bigger. I love tortillas like from that. San Miguel. So big. I love yeah. tortillas. They so uh, so I remember when San Salvador is so small. <laughs> no, and they're thick. They're, they're yeah. small and they're, they're thick. And in San Miguel, they're very like almost like Mexican tortillas. Yeah. Hecho, that's right. in, in Hilo Vasco, is the same menu in the breakfast. Really? It's a strong, it's a strong, um, like strong breakfast. Yes, it's a strong breakfast. Yeah, I like that. I, I really like that about San Miguel. <laughs> like, wow, <laughs> chile rellenos at six in the morning. Give me, please. <laughs> Sopa de res <laughs> at six in the morning. All right. Okay, so thank you for your strange habit. Uh, Gerardo, do you have a strange habit? Um. Yes, teacher. What I don't know is is strange, but many people had said to me that's strange. Um, maybe of what is my profession, but the habit is that if I want to understand something or explain something or need to do a planification, I have to draw everything. If I don't draw, uh. I feel like I can understand. I cannot have the the things clear in my head. So, so you don't I take notes. Draw. You draw. I take notes, but and I always draw to draw notes, draw notes. But sometimes I only draw. And sometimes only you understand yourself. That's correct. Sometimes just me understand. I. I present to people, my friends, and they they, what's this? <laughs> Do you know? But you know that that is a very very good technique, because when you are an interpreter, when you interpret English to Spanish or Spanish to English, you know if you're speaking to someone, and this person says. Bueno, pues fíjate que yo iba, entonces iba en el carril de en medio cuando se me giró, bla, 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 bla. And they start speaking fast. And you can't take notes exactly of what the person is saying. So you learn to do that. You learn to draw. Like, you know, carril izquierdo. I, I make a straight line and an arrow to the left. <laughs> and you don't go from left to right. You go from top to bottom, which is very interesting. So it's a good technique. Strange, okay. but it's good. It's strange, but good. Yes. yes. That's, that's, that's good. Okay, Lisette, tell us a strange habit you have. In my case, for it, tax reform to be updated. Why is that strange? Uh, reformas tributarias. Pero por qué es raro ese hábito? Ah. Listen, a strange it habit. For, it for my career. Entonces para usted es extraño estudiar lo tributario. It's complicated. Okay, but, okay, but the complicated is not the strange strange habit listen to the examples in san miguel curtido is with mayonnaise oh 
Okay. Eh, en San Miguel, the breakfast is barbecue, chicken, no eggs. Wow, in El Vasco, too. Um, Now, I mean, that that is strange. Ah, okay. Mm. So, tell me a strange habit that you have. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> The habit is strange. Okay, good. I will come back to you, but then I'm going to ask you for another habit. Don't say, I don't know. I don't know. Think Okay, or think of somebody you know that has a strange habit. Oh, one time my XXX boss, we went to Los Planes with him and his wife. Listen to this. She asked for pupusas. And she got the pupusas and she put sugar mm. on the pupusas. I was, what the hell? But it was, it's strange. yeah, it was my wife's boss. So I said, hey, that's strange. <laughs> and she says, it's good. Do you want some? No. Thank you. <laughs> I was, hey. <laughs> But in, in, inside, I was like, what the, the hell is she doing? Putting sugar on pupusa. Can you imagine? That's strange. Okay, so Lisette, if you do not have a strange habit, think of somebody who has a strange habit. Okay. I think um, my strength ha habit is in the in the morning uh, is it um, no sé cómo decirlo pasar por la iglesia mm -hmm. todos los días pasar pasar frente a la iglesia yo creo que usted la... puede decir eso ok look uh, at the level you're in I think you could say that <laughs> uh, pass in front of the church and I do the signal cross ok Are you Catholic? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so why is that strange? That's not strange. Mm -hmm. I mean, for a Catholic person, it's not strange, correct? Mm -hmm. It's Okay, Lisa, entiende que es algo raro. Sí, sí. Un raro, okay. Ok, entonces usted, para usted persinarse en frente de una iglesia es raro. Solo quiero aclarar eso. No. Ok, good. Entonces, uh, so remember, we're doing... No, o sea, yo tampoco, yo no creo que, que, que sea raro, especialmente si alguien es católico. Porque uh -huh. creo que todos lo hacen. Creo que es raro que no lo hacen. Uh -huh. Pero it's ok, ok. So, if it's complicated, I understand, ok. Ronald. Give me a strange habit that you have. I'm not sure if it's a strange habit, but uh, for example, um, there was a time I I got like back back pain, back pain, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, so I was told that I had to drink more water, but I didn't like drinking water. So I started to drink water. Uh, and take a, a peppermint, pepper, peppermint when drinking water so it could give like a different flavor. But then I started drinking uh, everything with a pe peppermint, like, for example, I like drinking regia with, with a peppermint <laughs> or, or juice uh, or orange juice with peppermint. I, I consider it refreshes myself. So I'm not sure if that's strange, but I'm the only person who does that, that I know. Yes, putting peppermint on right here is strange. 
<laughs> but okay. people drink uh, beers with lemon and and chili pepper and all of that. That's not a strange, right? Yeah, but because you, good point, good point. Remember that strange is a is is optional, because yeah, for me, I I don't drink beer with lemon, but if you notice, it's only like coronas, I think. But we see it so much that it's normal. But things that you don't see frequently, that's why they're strange. No, yeah. but I mean to say like drinking, I guess they call it micheladas. Mm -hmm. I guess I don't I don't like drinking that, but they put chili pepper and and black sauce and all of that and that's that's not a strange for the majority of people, so no. I can drink Regia with peppermint. <laughs> yeah, okay, cool. All right. Gerard, oh, oh, yeah, no, you did. Oh, I'm not going to repeat it because maybe someone forgot. Ah, okay. No, I'm sorry. Jonathan, do you have a strange habit? It's raining here. It's raining. Can you listen to me? Yes. Where do you live? In Soyapang? Oh, yeah, in San Martin, right? It's raining. Nice. Maybe it will rain later. Do you have a strange habit, Jonathan? I think, I think that my strange habit is when I say, I crack my fingers. I crack my fingers sometimes. Oh, okay. Okay. Maybe that's not a strange habit. It's a bad habit. Mm -hmm. But it's not strange because, in my opinion, it's not strange because many people do it. One more. Uh, when I was a kid, I had a strange habit. Uh, I told... I held my hands. I held my hands and put my back and Wait, you, no, so it's not your hands, your arms. Arms. You can Wait, you rolled your arms over? Yes. Right. Oh, oh, oh. What happened? Is this your shoulder? Hey, yes, that's my shoulders. You know, do you know what an icebreaker is? Ice break. Do you know what is ice break? Class, do you know what is break the ice? Romper el hielo, figuradamente. Yes. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So, Jonathan, that is a good icebreaker in a party. Imagine everybody's quiet in the party. You just stand up. Hey, hey, people, look. Bah! <laughs> and then you get reaction. Oh, my God. So, yeah, that's a good icebreaker. I had a friend, my friend, he was from Venezuela, and he was very, very handsome. Do you understand me? And um, yeah. all the men, we hated him. Because he was very handsome. So all the girls, really, like, it, where we went, all the girls looked at him like, oh. Oh my God. So the problem was that all his teeth were false and false. He had a, he was a, he said that in Venezuela he was a motorcycle pilot or something. He had an accident and he broke all his teeth. So he uses uh, fake teeth. So one day, in the party, 
He did the icebreaker. Hey, look. Y todos los hombres, we were happy. <laughs> Porque les perdió su encanto. <laughs> you know, like, yeah. <laughs> Because the girls did not like him after that. But imagine... I remember because the party was very quiet. He says, look. And he showed us his teeth. And I, why why did you do that? <laughs> so after that, he was very ugly. And we were very happy. Hmm. Okay, Angela, do you have a strange habit? Yes, I have uh, a habit. Um... I drink too much water at, at the night. <laughs> and I had to get up in two or three times uh, and I a uh, bedroom. <laughs> to the bathroom. Yeah, to the bathroom, yes. Okay. Okay, good. Yeah. Um Another strange habit that I have is I sleep. I like I like to sleep on the floor. Um, but really, like flat on the floor. At uh, night. Sometimes when um, I'm very hot, for example. <laughs> you sleep on the floor. Uh, yes, uh, sometimes. Okay. I I had an accident and I hurt my back. And the doctor told me, sleep on the floor. The first times is difficult because it hurts. But after, I promise you, is the greatest sensation because you're sleeping on the floor and when you wake up, you get up, <laughs> like, ah, oh, yeah, ah. Oh. It's yes. good. Yes. So uh, I believe Ronald told me he had an accident. So Ronald, when you can, sleep on the floor. All right. Let's see how good you remember. Gerardo. Uh, my accident was not, uh, I mean, my back wasn't hurt. It was my, my tibia. No, but I think you mentioned right now that you had an accident or your back hurt. No, No, I mean, I, 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 uh, I used to have like this pain on my back, but because I I didn't drink water. Oh, okay, okay, I got it. And it, I guess it's your ki ki kidneys, kidneys, you, right? You, kidneys, yes. Yeah, that's true. Oh, it was me due to my kidneys. Oh, okay, okay, I got it. All right, so Gerardo, what is birds? What did Bert said? It was a strange habit he or his people have. Um, Bird told, uh, told us and the way they they eat pupusas. They they eat it with mayonnaise instead of curtido. Hmm. So Bird said that you eat the pupusa with mayonnaise. I, I don't think he said that. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Okay, rephrase, Gerardo. You are correct, but but no. <laughs> no. Mm. The curtido, it's mixed with mayonnaise. Exactly. It's made. That's right. Mm -hmm. It's made with mayonnaise. With, may okay. with mayonnaise or with mayo. People say mayo. Mayo. Okay. All right, good. It's a, yeah, for, okay, that is strange for us people in San Salvador, but it's very good. I recommend it. The curtido is very good like that with mayonnaise. Okay. Uh Ronald, do you remember Lisette's strange habit? Um actually I don't because she said like like three. She said like No, but the five whenever... more... is that the the one you're counting on. Like she goes by the, the church 
and and that's the that sign. Yes. En español se llama presentarse, en inglés se usa el verbo cruz, de cruzar, like, she crosses herself. Ah, okay. She crosses herself whenever she goes by the church. Yes. Okay. 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 All right, cool, thanks. Jonathan, do you remember Ronald's strange habit? Yes, I remember. Uh, he he said. She. He he said. Mm -hmm. He said a strange habit is when somebody put a pepper peppermint in beer. Yes, but not somebody. It's actually him. He puts peppermint on his beer. Oh. Uh, put, Ronald, I'm he sorry. Put peppermint in beer. Okay, good. Um, Ronald, so that means that you have peppermint with you. <laughs> because. It, <clears throat> yes, when I started drinking beers, I started smoking too. So I, I used to go by, stop by the gas station. And buy like Malboro, Menthol. Malboro Fusion, Fusion. Yes, that that was the one. And I used to buy. They they were some like balls of peppermint. They are very popular, and I I used to buy of those, and then I just started drinking uh, beers with that with that candy. But it was just like little bolts of peppermint. Yeah. And okay. Do you still smoke? Not often, but from time to time, I I do it. You know, I used to smoke a lot, and I don't smoke anymore. I don't know why, because I never wanted to stop. I just suddenly stopped. Uh, when you stop, like for a month, you never, never want to go back to that have it right it's not it's not the same feeling no you know what happened to me i used to smoke maybe one pack a day one pack but one when pack i 20 or yes. 10 no 20 oh, okay that's a lot I, yeah yes, it was a lot. a lot and and when i would drink i was i would smoke one pack that night but then for i don't know for how many years i did that but then that one pack a day, the one pack became a week. You know, like I would smoke one pack in one week. I mean, I said, I'm like, hey, that's strange. I still have cigarettes. And then I realized I stopped smoking and then I only smoke when I drank. Mm, that's fine. Uh -huh. It's no, even yeah, better it, because you don't get that. Pro like, it was progressive. Nasty smell. Yes. And now yeah. I don't smoke. Just at all now i hate i really hate the smell of smoke <laughs> this is it, pretty stinky it's offensive yes but now that i that now that i don't smoke i realize that maybe the all those bad habits smoking is really it's really a stupid habit because now that i think i said wow smoking really is stupid why why, why did i smoke <laughs> But and watch. expensive. Yeah, and expensive too. How much is one pack of cigarettes of 20 of Marlboro? Mm. Now it is in the gas station it's four four dollars and seventy-five cents. And you can find it on a like in La Tienda for three fifty, I guess. Three fifty. One dollar minus. Wow, for me, so, I think it was like two dollars or one. So it's 50. almost like the the one for which contains ten cigarettes. It's two dollars. No, of that one, of course. If you if you smoke the, the there are some of 
they cost like 10 cents, I guess. They're just the most expensive ones. They are they are from Guatemala, I guess. I'm not sure. I don't remember the name, but they are one dollar and you get twenty of them for one dollar. Wow. But I don't remember the name. Mm. Mm. Modern. That was the name. What about diplomats? Do diplomats still exist? Yes, uh, I like the diplomat Evo. It's like and, and free. They were free. Free. Mm -hmm. Just no. like like red. We call it red here, right? No, no. I have one that's called free. Ah, work. no. I don't. I don't know those ones. I just know uh, the the red one and the green one and the Evo. Oh, okay. But they are uh, cheaper. But you know what, Ronald? Malboro, <clears throat> the, the, the Malboro uh, is the the most expensive one. But you know what, Ronald? That's strange because I didn't think that you smoked because I remember yesterday you were telling us that you like sports. <clears throat> and um, I guess that's that keeps me alive. <laughs> <laughs> yes, maybe <laughs> that balances. It balances. No, but I stopped because I used to get this. Uh, allergic. I used to get allergic the next day, like oh. mocos, and hmm. I couldn't breathe. So that's why I stopped. Okay, good. Doing it often. All yeah. right, good. Okay, Lisette Castillo, do you remember Angela's Angela's um, strange habit? Yeah, and uh, she she got up two or three. Or three times uh, to the bathroom. Why? I don't know. She she mentioned why. I don't remember. Imagine if you go to the bathroom three times a night in the night. Why do you think that is? Problem for sleep. Lisa, she says she drinks a lot of water. <clears throat> okay, sorry. That, no, no, it's okay. But I, I, I really need you to listen, everybody. This is this is a conversation in English. Okay. Yes, and she says when you and and Lisa when you go to the bathroom three times. To the bathroom, that's not a sleeping problem. <laughs> Either you have diarrhea, <laughs> diarrhea, or <laughs> or um... or drink much water. Okay. Uh huh. Or 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 you drink too much water. Mm hmm. Or maybe you're okay. sick from the stomach, but. All right, and the last but not least, Bert, do you remember Gerardo's strange habit? <laughs> well, uh, actually, I wasn't able to listen because I have pro. I, I just stopped listening, uh, listening with the Bluetooth because I it's not the internet connection that is not working. Actually, it's the Bluetooth connection with that. Oh, it was it was the Bluetooth. Yeah, it, oh, okay. it, it, it was. I was able to listen, Angela, Lisette, Jonathan, Ronald, and you talking about you sleep in the floor, on the floor. But <laughs> I don't remember it after because you was having trouble with that. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, okay. Who remembers Gerardo's bad habit? I'm strange habit. I'm sorry. I remember he draws everything. Yeah, that's interesting. He draws everything for what? He could be a police officer, the, like the ones who draw like the criminals, because he likes drawing. But he he didn't only say draw. He, he said situations. more. I remember your example talking about like a street lane or actions. Remember he draws before. Something important, if I'm not wrong. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, he mentioned that 
when he planificate when he plans something he doesn't take notes he does drawings notes drawing notes symbols things that only he understands and they are like sketches they are not a kind of real thing it's just sketches and Gerardo, do, do, you, yes. do you like drawing? I mean, like drawing just lines or I mean circle or but you do you draw actually like a drawer professional like doing like a tree no, or a... I, I do not I do not draw like an artist or professional. Like I said, it's, it's just sketches and I just and sometimes my friends and my family do not understand my notes or sketches. It's only me. But don't you like painting? I mean, color, color your drawings when you finish. I mean, it's something to not emphasize. really. I like to I like to, to see artists, but and me doing it, I don't I don't interested in that. I remember I used to do something similar. I used to write just the initials of any word. Uh, so I could, and that's that was my way to take notes when I was going to, to school. So whenever they, they said, this is this is going to be your homework, I used to write it, take taking notes by just uh, writing the initials. But one day I, I forgot. <laughs> one I letter and I, I stopped <laughs> doing it you know what i do now i um on my phone i i i have a, rec a voice recorder so i say like for example liha mil and i'm recording like everything so on saturday i said okay que lo que iba a comprar and then I go back and I listen to my recordings from my voice. Liha Mil. Oh, okay. So, you know, <laughs> so I remember. Because if not, I forget. So I think that I, I recommend you try that. It's a very good idea. Okay. And, and do you speak to yourself? Because I do. Yeah, I speak to myself. But, but I'm not too. sure. I I didn't say that That's because normal. I think it's common. Yes. I stopped talking to myself. Because you argue with yourself. <laughs> yeah, I argue too much because it is really hard because I had to make a decision, I mean, to select something and start arguing with myself. That Hello? Hello. Thank you. Okay. No, I could hear you. Can Can everybody hear me? Yeah. Yeah, I hear yes, you yes, now. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Suddenly there was a through. silence. Huh? No, no, but it's not only you. It was like a general silence. Just all over. <laughs> we were really? paying attention. Yeah. Maybe yeah. it's your inner self talking to you. Yeah, maybe. It's just some ghost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, no, you know, I do talk to myself sometimes, but I, I, I'm not a good, because it's me regaño mucho. <laughs> but you know what, you, you know what I, uh, I don't know. I believe, I really believe in karma. Every time, every time I do something bad, really something bad happens to me that day. So, and what about the opposite? When you do yeah. really good stuff or good action, you know, no, no, it's, it's, you... it's still the same. I mean, nothing, nothing happens, nothing good happens. But I remember mm -hmm. one time, one time I was teaching in this in academia. I was teaching in the academy, and I had to go teach to Cesar. It was this building in Santa Elena. And I remember I went to the bathroom and I found that wallet with $380. The wallet was on the top of the ur urinal. Men, you understand, right? 
So I imagine this person put the wallet on top, you know, urinated, and th the person left. And here I come, like, whoa. <laughs> I get the wallet. And I look at it. There was a lot of money. And um, temptation is very tricky. It's very bad. And I was thinking, no. So in that moment, no. Think fast, no. I went to the uh, reception and I said, look, I found this wallet, but can you do me a favor? When the person that finds this wallet calls me, please. You, you know, porque tampoco me iba a decir reception. Ah, gracias, ahí le aviso. <laughs> no. You know, so that day I felt... I didn't feel good. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody was telling me, wow, you did good. And I say, man, $380. That day, my tire exploded. The next day, they opened my car and somebody took my battery. So that week, many bad things happened to me. And I did something very good. Le digo a mi esposa, haciendo cálculos, lo que me ayer fue lo que me tocó gastar. <laughs> Batería nueva. Que las llantas. Que no sé. So, next time I find money, I will keep it. No, but at least you were not uh, disappointed about yourself. when. I no, I, 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 I was. Worse. Ah, oh, you were oh, okay. <laughs> no, no, I wasn't disappointed, but maybe I was sad because I was not happy. Because but everybody it's not the same to be sad and be disappointed. It's true. It's not the same. It's true. And to be honest, I don't know what I was feeling, but happy, no. Because everybody was telling me, good for you. I was, yeah, but why don't I feel happy? And um <laughs> but people call it like like that kind of money call it. The dirty money, I guess, when it's, it's stolen true. and it's it gives you bad luck, but for and a during, long period of time. During the pandemic, we were in a Plaza Marriott, and my wife, she got the cart, and there was a wallet, a woman's wallet in the car, in the cart. And my wife told me, Mira, I'm look, I opened the wallet. There was a lot of money there. Credit cards. ID from California. Tenían una black card. You know what the black card is? <laughs> the uh, unlimited credit. Yeah. Uh, and, I, and this, but I mean, this person was from the United States. It was Salvadorian from the United States. <laughs> I said, what do we do? And my wife, that's a lie. No, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> So I went to the store to the um I went to the um store uh, and I asked, can I speak with your manager? Yes. So then the manager came, hi, look, I found this wallet. I think it was $150 cash. Esto look okay. $150 cash. Esto, esto, esto. I'm giving it to you. This is my phone number. Please tell the person to call me. Porque si yo no me voy a quedar con el dinero, tampoco ellos, you know. And when I was going home, the person called me. The person, hi, are you David? Yes, hi. Pero the person was like, hey, thank you. <laughs> That's it? Thank you? <laughs> One time, my mother in, in an airplane, mi mama, she found an iPhone. And um, and they were calling the iPhone, and my mom, oh, okay. Yeah. So she sent it. I think the person was from Florida. My mom, she found it in Texas. So my mom sent her the, the, the iPhone. And this person sent my mom a certificate for $100 for... Red Law um, for um, Olive Garden. Pero 
that was nice, you know, some gesto, like, hey, thank you very much. Here, my mom was not expecting anything. Esta maestra ni don pollo me pudo mandar, man. <laughs> you know, nah, but, but you know, I, I am very lucky. I always find money and I always return it. <laughs> so it's luck. I knew it. <laughs> yeah. One time I found a phone, but that I kept. I kept the telephone. I was in Burger King. And in the bathroom, I found a phone. It was like a Samsung, but like it was like a nice Samsung. And I returned and I sit down and I told my wife, look, si alguien no deja el baño, esa persona está acá, or it's going to come back. So, comamos, and during that time, but the person never called. And the person never came, because I would recognize if somebody comes in, oh my God, oh, you know, uh-huh. Excuse me, did you lose a phone? Yes, yes. But no, nobody, nobody, nobody came and nobody called. And did that person call when you got back home? No, no, they never called. In fact, in fact, they blocked, I, I think the person didn't remember where the phone was and immediately Cancel it, cancel it, cancel it. She blocked the SIM. Or maybe it was the person's first reaction. <gasps> Call the company and cancel it. But, you know, antes de llamar, you know, excuse me. <clears throat> so um, I took the SIM out, I put my SIM in, and the phone was perfect. Yo tenía el phone más chivo en mi familia y todos. Oh, oh. It was like 10 years ago. So, but it was, it was, ah, it was like those notes, those Galaxy notes, you know, the big phones. I was like, yeah. They include like a pen, right? It, it had a pen, yes. That you. you <laughs> but you see. And, you know, it was like new because it still had the plastic. Yeah. All right, class, then thank you very much. And tomorrow we finish the last two, which is habits I like and habits I don't like. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Okay, yeah. teacher. Okay, thank have you a, very much. Have a good evening. Have a good I'll time. see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye.